as a kid, I didn't really realise that I thought differently and I felt differently. I just felt like a bit of an outsider at times and I felt like I didn't fully have control in how I was behaving and how I was feeling as much as other people did. I had so many friendship issues in school, um, primary school and secondary school specifically because I wasn't diagnosed. I ended up calling myself a nomad friend. I would move from group to group I actually struggled really badly with bullying. That period of my life of just being like, I can't change who I am and you're bullying me for it, I got really upset. I remember always feeling like I couldn't settle into a group in school. I got bullied quite badly through like year seven to year nine. And that was all surrounding like how I was like, and I never really fully understood it, but people were just always like, you're too much, or like, you're too loud, you're too intense. If I didn't do my homework, it was because I was lazy, or my attendance was really low because I couldn't be bothered to come into school kind of thing. Whereas there was actually like an issue that was going on that was just completely undetected. I was diagnosed with ADHD at 17 years old. I think when it came to getting my diagnosis, it took quite a long time. There's always waiting lists. I started looking into getting the diagnosis at around 15, and I didn't actually get my formal diagnosis and assessment until I was 17. I was diagnosed with autism when I was 16, a month before my 17th birthday. My brother's diagnosis was the spurring point of mine. Girls are diagnosed later than boys, especially with autism, and a lot of medical conditions. When they first did the research on the topic, they only did it on white boys. They only used them as their subject. And so their s symptoms, in a way, are the ones that they look for. I actually don't really know how I got through school with it being undetected by teachers, because I think, to be honest, like when I look back, I was quite textbook ADHD. I am someone that can't sit still. I've always been fidgety. There's a lot of issues with concentration. I've just felt very misunderstood at school and feel like when you're not made for the society that we live in, you are isolated within such a massive group of people and it can feel like so detrimental to like your mental health. When I think about it, it makes me feel really sorry for that girl because at the time I was only like, you know, 14, 15. And when you feel like you don't fit into like society, like society was not built for you. You like you have no other place to go. Primary school, I used to cry in a corner when I was overwhelmed. And it was a corner because no one could come behind me. It, I was safe. No one could touch me. I was there. But it was a lot of almost loneliness. Secondary school, I just hated the noise. It was always really loud. And so I liked to sit outside, even if it was raining, because it's not noisy outside. When I actually got my diagnosis, I remember speaking to my mum and we, us being like, it is crazy that that was never suggested to us. I got tested for bipolar, I got tested for all sorts of things, but they never even thought about it. I find with a lot of people I've spoken to, they're like, oh, they said I had borderline personality disorder. They said I had bipolar. Um, and they get all these misdiagnoses because everything had been done for men. Why aren't we talking about something that half the population of the world goes through or will go through in their life? I think when it comes to women, there's a lot of issues when it comes to getting diagnosed because women's ADHD can manifest in such a different way. I think because women in general kind of have to put on a facade anyway. We're used to performing. That's constantly what I've been doing my whole life. When I was a child, I was always told I was bossy. So then I think I then internalised that and I was like, I can't be that because people don't like bossy women. So yeah, I definitely tried to be something I wasn't, but then that made it so that I was just struggling inside. Whereas now, like I viewed the world just completely differently after I got my diagnosis. My diagnosis did empower me. It kind of gave me a reason and with a reason I could 
go about doing the things I wanted to do. It definitely gave me freedom and I feel like I found empowerment in the freedom I got. I'm so much healthier within my mind. I'll take up however much space I need. <laughs> Bit of garage. You deepen it a bit too much. <laughs> Stay direction!